Introducing the new Elgato Stream Deck pedal. With three customizable pedals, where you can control apps, tools, and platforms. Hands-free, go live, mute mic, toggle cameras, and much more. Powerful plugins, Elgato 4K CU, OBS, Streamlabs, Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, Spotify, Philips Hue, and many more all work with this. Interchangeable springs where you can adjust the pedal pressure exactly to your taste. One touch, instantly trigger single or multiple actions. Heavy duty chassis, tap with confidence. Hot key actions, streamline your film editing, music production, photography, workflow, etc. I've been looking forward to this foot pedal for a very long time because as people know for my stream, I play guitar and I sing. One of the reasons I use my tongue a lot while live is because I don't have hands to emote what I'm doing. So when I'm streaming, shouting out chat, playing guitar, singing, screaming, doing all this stuff, I have even less to use. So to be able to use my foot to make the show, the stream, everything a little bit more exciting, a little bit more feeling like a show. I can do blackouts, I could do essentially a spotlight vibe, changing the colors, I can push to talk, push to mute while I'm playing games so that I'm not fumbling around trying to find the key as I get destroyed in FPS games. I'm able to do this all from the convenience of the Elgato Stream Deck foot pedal. I've been talking about hoping for a foot pedal for years, and it's finally here. So ladies and gentlemen, Stream Deck foot pedal, absolutely incredible. I love this thing, and I can't wait to use this every single day in my stream, bring this out on tour, make everything a little bit more thematic. If I could use this on stage with my band, I would. My light guy might hate me though. Enjoy. The software for the Stream Deck pedal is incredibly easy. So easy, in fact, that you can copy over settings from your Stream Deck. So if I know I've got a couple settings I like, like I've got a master light setting that can black out everything like you would at a live show. It's as simple as copy, switch back over to the deck, and paste. That easy. Everything is right there. You can set up custom options if you want to. You can drag things from over here, making your new favorite things. However, like I said, if you've got settings that you know you love, I know that I want something that feels like a show. We use a lot of red in our live shows typically, which photographers do not seem to love. So you could set that over here. And what you could do is you have separate colors for your different light strips. I have two light strips on my main desk, so I can set them to the same colors or different colors. Now, if you want to set new colors, you could do the same. If you want to set the same things that you have from the other settings of your computer, you can do that as well. There's push to talk, there's push to mute, there's all sorts of different things that you can add in now. Um, for me, because my streams are primarily music, I like to have quite a few color options. Um, our latest record has a lot of gold themes in it, so I like to get close to a gold here, so that way I can switch around for the colors needed to match the songs. So it's that dang easy. Now, if there's more things you're looking for, there's all sorts of different plugins available. Like I mentioned, Discord was just recently released here, so you can have that right there. I already have that installed myself, so when I feel like playing games, I gotta switch out buttons on my Stream Deck pedal because I'm a standing gamer. I could do anything I want. So you can add all of the things that you see in here on your Stream Deck. As you know, the Stream Deck has singular, multi, all sorts of different commands. All these different apps are all available to plug into the Stream Deck pedal just as you would your normal Stream Deck which is awesome that you can so easily copy paste things straight over that dang easy. Make sure I always check for updates. Good to go.